So the next tense that we are going to learn about is the future simple tense or the simple future tense. We'll start with its formulation. Formulation for the simple future tense. Okay. So, okay. You will study. That's it, guys. That's the formulation of the future simple. So, we have the subject plus will and plus v1, which is the base or the infinitive form of the verb. So, it was you will study, I will study, we all will study, they will study, he or she will study, my friend Sarah would study. And that's it. That's the formulation of the of the tense future simple. Well, if the formulation is that easy, I'm thinking, could the usage be that it's easy too? Well, it is. Okay, there are just two basic uh, uses of this particular tense. The first usage is it expresses a possibility in the future. Okay. And normally, uh, we do that in the future simple tense by using these expressions. I hope. I think. Or probably. Anything else? Possibly. Yes, so these expressions are used to express a future possibility of something. Let's take a look at these example sentences. It will probably rain tonight. So, it will. This is the contraction of will. It will uh, probably rain tonight. So, I'm not sure about it. But I'm kind of predicting something here. This might be. So, I'm, I might look at the clouds. And I would say, oh my God, look at these dark clouds. It will probably rain tonight. You know, so it is expressing a possibility in the future. That's what I'm doing here. I hope he'll pass his exams. So, you know, he's been working really hard and that's why I'm certain I hope he'll pass in the future or he'll pass his tests. So, that's the first use of the future symbol which is expressing a possibility in the future. Let's look at the second use. When you make a decision at the time of speaking. So my friend A, let's give her a name. My friend Arya says, uh, it's terribly cold in this room. What would I say then? I would say, well, I will turn off or turn on the heater. That is what I'll say. So that's me. Yes. I will turn on the heater for my friend Arya because she's feeling cold. So, so normally we use this uh, tense in a dialogue when we just, you know, when we just think about or make a decision while talking. So, these are the two main uses of the future simple tense. And since we're talking about the future simple, there is one more expression that is used when we refer to something in the future and I want to or I want you to know about it. Let me tell you a little bit about the going to future. The, yes, the going to future. So what is it? So let's get on with it. So since we're on, on the topic of the simple future tense, let's look at the going to future. Well, going to future is used to express certainty in the future. So, when I'm certain about something or when I'm sure about something, I would say I am going to pass in the exam with flying colors because I know I've been working very hard. So, I'm certain about it. I'm sure about it. And we also use the going to future when we talk about a decision that has already been made before the time of speaking. So, let me give you an example for it. My friend says, uh, she is new in town. So, she says, I want to see the town. I want to see Mumbai. So, I would say, yes, uh, I'm going to show you around. I've already made this decision. So, I tell my friend, Sam, that I am 
going to show you around. Okay, so uh, let's look at this. Uh, let's look at the formulation of the going to future. So we have I am going to play, and then we have you are going to play. So let's look at its formulation. We have you and I, which is the subject here. Then am and are are, are two V verbs. So we have to conjugate the two V verb here. So we have is, am, and are. Plus we have going. And we have the infinitive, which is to play. We have the infinitive here. So that's the formation of the going to future. Now, just to make sure that you all have understood the difference between the future simple and the going to future, I'm going to show you or we're going to go through a couple of sentences and you all are going to be telling me if they are future simple or if they are going to future. So let's look at them. So guys, I just want to make sure that you all have understood the difference between the future simple and the going to future. Let's look at a few of these examples to make sure that you all understand it completely. Well, let's say my friend asked me, Sanju, what's your plan for the weekend? You know, she's very excited. So what, are we going out? Are we doing something? On the other hand, I say, nothing. I'll just stay at home. I'll probably stay at home. Probably because I want to catch up on some sleep. I've been tired throughout the week. So when I say nothing, I'll probably uh, stay home. What is it? Is it in the future simple tense or is it in the going to future? Well, it's obviously in the future simple tense because it does not have going to in it. But also because I am expressing a possibility in the future and we... We studied, right? We do that with the help of words. Probably, I think, I hope. So, I, I say nothing. I'll probably stay at home or I'll stay home. So, this is future simple. Let's look at the second example now. Are you sure about this? So, uh, let's say somebody asked me, are you sure you're... Your students are going to pass in their exam. Are you sure about it? And I say, yes, I'm sure they're going to pass because they have worked really hard. So, I say, yes, I know it's going to work. I know they're going to pass. So, here, I'm saying, you know, it's there, going to. That's why it's going to future. But apart from that, I am really certain, I am really sure that it's going to work and you all are going to pass. So, it is going to future. Well, I hope with these two examples, you all have understood the difference between simple future and going to future. And let's move on to our next future tense, which is the future continuous tense. 